Oh, man. Well, where to start? Nintendo's crying again over very stupid things. And everybody's making videos about it. But I haven't seen many videos pertaining to people actually looking at the source code for this. Nintendo's crying over this Super Mario 64 PC source code leak. The Basically, it's Super Mario 64 for PC, works with an Xbox 360 controller. The code is all converted over to DirectX and works very well on a PC. I've played a little bit of it. As you can see, I do have a compiled version of the game on my computer that is completely clean that I found by accident. Um, and I have the source. So let's dig into the source and I'll tell you why, at least from, obviously I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an attorney, I don't know much about the law, but from what I researched when it came to the 1320 projects, um, Nintendo shouldn't have a leg to stand on here because here in the source code you can see obviously it's a bunch of gibberish that most people are not going to understand. It's not a big deal. Um, but there's this extract assets.py uh, file and I believe the readme is even here as well. We can look at this. Um, this repo contains a full decompilation of Super Mario 64 J and U. The source and data have been decompiled, but complete naming and documentation, all of the code and data is still a work in progress. Decompiling the European ROM is still an ongoing effort. It builds the following ROMs, it builds those files. This repo does not include any assets necessary for compiling the ROMs. A prior copy of the game is required to extract and get the required ROM or assets. So what that means is basically it is the ASM code but it's not, there's no image assets, there's nothing in here. It's decompiled code. So for Nintendo to even try and say that this code is theirs, it's decompiled code. Decompiled code and fixed decom decompiled code because you always get errors with decompiled code. Um, this is barely their code. This is basically rewritten and then compilable. Compile sorry I, it's a hard word for me to say for some reason so they don't have much of a leg to stand on now if you want to dump your assets and stuff like that they really don't make it easy like yeah you can read all this and you can try to understand it but unless you actually know what you're doing you are not getting this done um, it's just not going to happen if you open up the extract assets.py um, you know, there's some stuff in here in case we ever need to change formats of generated files and we'll keep the revision number. So there's not much in there. That's just for extracting assets, but somewhere in here, I saw it and I don't remember where exactly, but somewhere in these files, it actually says, good luck with this. Uh, we are not providing you the actual assets, and if you can dump them yourself, good luck. I don't remember where I saw that, but it does exist in the leaks here somewhere. Maybe it was here, no. Oh yeah, uh, no copyright assets are included with this, just code. Yes, there's an assets folder, but only Mario's animation data is in there, and the file table for the demo data, not the demo data itself. Still need to extract assets.py and US and JP ROMs are built for this. Good luck figuring out how. So you're not going to dump this very easily is basically what they're saying unless you actually know exactly what they did. They've made it difficult. So, you know, without further ado, I'll at least show you that it works. I have tried to play it a little bit. It's a little weird playing with an Xbox controller when you're looking for the Z button because the Z buttons are... It doesn't save. I just noticed that. So this is... This would be good for speed running, for sure, because it doesn't look like it saves, uh, first of all, which kind of sucks because if you want to do a playthrough, good luck, just download Project 64. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't save. 
but as you can see, this is working. Mario 64, 60 frames per second, um, full DirectX. I don't remember which version of DirectX, but I believe it's still only 30. Actually, it might only be 30 frames a second, judging by the stuttering. But uh, this is full compiled Mario 64 for PC. This is not an emulator. This is the full PC port and working too, by the way, which I hate that Z is uh, LB on an Xbox controller. I don't like LB on my Xbox controller. I avoid it at all cost. I cannot do that skip. I wish I could. I really wish I could. But yeah, there's, you know, it works. It's cool. And Nintendo needs to simmer down and just let their community make their fan games because they should take it like Sega does. Like, as long as you don't, you know, hurt the brand and all that, it's entirely fine. Sega loves fan games of Sonic. Absolutely loves them. I can understand where the worry is, obviously, of hurting an IP because, oops, hit the wrong buttons. But uh, I can understand that worry, but like, of course I went all the way down here. I'm not very good at Mario 64 on this controller. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I got a chaser. But uh, as far as Mario 64 is concerned at all, like, so far, all the fan remakes that anybody's tried to make that Nintendo shut down um, have just been stuff like this, honestly, where somebody got really close to completing a fan remake, and this is basically complete. With the code that I have, I could technically make a whole new you know, Mario game based off the Mario PC port. Now, I don't have the knowledge to do so, obviously, because that's not my forte. Um, I'm a racing game kind of guy. But, you know, this shows that it's very much possible to just port these games with very minimal... I wouldn't say minimal effort, because that makes it sound like I'm insulting the guys who did this stuff. But uh, it's definitely an amazing thing that they did. And deserves the recognition obviously is wow i didn't think it would come out if i was that close huh but nintendo just needs to settle the hell down really like come on i'm gonna see if i'm still any good at this it does keep stuttering for some reason i think it's just because i'm recording but uh This guy, I can never grab him. The grab window is much smaller than Bowser, so it's a lot harder. Oh, nope, you went that way. Or, oh, Jesus. There we go. Got him. But, yeah, Nintendo just needs to settle down. Like, let your fans make the remakes because they're the ones that keep you in business in the first place no <laughs> wow I'm really bad oh well at least I got saved anyway I think you guys get the point this is working Mario 64 for PC Nintendo needs to settle down oh it did actually create a bin file and config this time Cool, so I can, you can go in and do some modification of this. I wonder what I can do with this, if there is anything. Let's go hex real quick. Huh, I wonder what these ADs do. Let's see what happens if I modify this. Let's go 86. We'll just load it as that. Let's see what happens. See if anything changes because you know I love doing that kind of stuff um, it's still new game I should have figured because I didn't get a star I should have gotten a star I'll mess with that stuff more later 
I'm just going to delete this stuff again because it's not needed right now. But I think you guys get the picture. You get the point. Nintendo needs to settle down. This probably isn't one of my better videos, but I was bored and wanted to record it, so sue me. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Oh, for those of you who make it to the end of my videos, I always ask you a question. Hmm. Oh, you know, I could actually use this as an ad spot. So I have recreated my old Etsy shop. If you would like to go and buy stuff, do it. Because coronavirus has put me out of a job for now, and I need some help. So I'm going to use this time as an ad spot for my Etsy shop called Auto Life Forever. It's a bunch of car themed stuff. I'm going to be adding more and more every day. Uh, the stickers will still be a thing here on the site, as well as I'm going to be branching out and doing, you know, sticker bomb watches and, you know, backpacks and whole nine yards. Anything I think I can design myself that looks cool, that I like, I'll throw it up here. If somebody wants to buy it, they can buy it. I am putting the stuff basically as cheap as it'll let me. Um,. So don't get mad at me when I, uh, <laughs> you know, when it's, you know, a $50 backpack or a $25 phone case, but because it's realistically, it's as cheap as it lets me make it. So like the iPhone, they're all $25. Um, the tough case is a thicker case than, um, anything else. As you can see, it is multiple pieces, which is pretty nice and keeps the phone nice and strong so you don't break it but i like that i'm doing this stuff again i got uh, a friend of mine from one of the car groups sent me something he created and it got me back into the creative mood so i figure if i throw you know a hundred things up on etsy somebody's gonna buy something <laughs> so i'll talk to you guys later i hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out